Hey guys, so right now I am working on developing the Dancing Nomads mobile app for Android and iOS and right now what you're seeing is the ground base or the foundation for all that. And then again, I am a developer so I am pretty much working on all this stuff by myself but I am pretty much developing the mobile app through trial and error with a lot of references to what we developers find as Stack Overflow and Google. So I just wanted to go through a little problem that I had with, with fetching data. And that's pretty much the function, that one function that I use to call my API in order to return the data to my front end. And I had a lot of problems with this just because developing on mobile is different from developing on a web app, which I am most used to. But anyways, here's the code for that. And hope you can appreciate my transparency with sharing my code. And a lot of companies, they will not make them public. But I figured this will help some, some developers if they're learning how to develop a mobile app using React Native and the Expo app. So what we have here is we have the export const fetch function, which I use to call my APIs. Um, I make a promise in order to call the API and whenever, call my API and whenever it returns uh, to me the success uh, and and the data that I want, then I will take that data and I will pretty much throw it back as a response. So that's pretty much right here in line 34. Otherwise, if we get any errors which is caught by line 35, then we will just console log a bunch of error response data and we'll do a return reject error. One thing to note is that uh, I had to wrap this in a return new promise function to get anything back. I am not quite sure why yet, but uh, if I didn't do this, then if I didn't put a return, then all the data would be lost. What I'll get is undefined. And I do want to show you that on um, on my console, but it's a pain in the ass and I will have to run it on my phone, which makes my computer really slow, and I don't want to waste your time. So I wouldn't do that, but I will show you how we are actually calling this. So I am using React Native and Redux Sega. And in my Redux Sega, this is pretty much the function. Um, using the con uh, const response, I, make th I do that assignment to a yield call function. And this calls my API. And this API is defined in uh, a a constant file so if I show you something like data users API then you can see that here this login users that's where it's calling my fetch function and that is imported from the services API and I'll probably make another video later on how I structured everything but it's calling this fetch function with uh, the things that you with the parameters that you saw and yeah so basically if I call the fetch API and if I didn't put that re return new promise function then what will happen is if i did a console log response um it will basically give me nothing uh it will give me undefined so that it didn't work so i had to put in this return new promise and actually make it a little promise function in order to get back any data so i could get back my response data and I can assign those values to async storage which is the local storage for React Native. Um, that's pretty much it. It took me a couple hours to figure this out or like five hours to two days. It was driving me crazy but um, I hope this video will help all you developers out there who are facing the same issue. Of course I am using Axios in order to make those calls. I find that better than it's actually much better than what I've been using. I've been using the requests package, which you can also find on NPM. So yeah, I really do recommend Axios. But if you're familiar with the requests, you could use that too. I'm also using that too on my on my web front end. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Just a short uh, short video on how I'm using my fetch function in order to make API calls. If you haven't already, and if you're a dancer, please, please, please join us and at 
dancingnomads.com. You can sign up for a free account and find a dance partner if you're looking to do competitions or train or practice. I know a lot of us, especially me, when we move to a new town and there's no dance that no no studio that does the dance that we do there might be some people out there who are in the same situation as you looking for a partner um, and hopefully this app will help you find those people and one last thing you can follow me on instagram at instagram.com slash dancing nomads or on facebook at facebook.com slash dancing nomads i'll see you guys there where i'll regularly be posting motivational and inspirational posts and you can also find me on youtube.com under the under the handle Dancing Nomads, of course. Um, and this is probably where I'll be posting my my development videos. I'll be posting them on YouTube because it feels like that's the proper place in order to find out how to, how, or that's the place to learn anything nowadays. So, yes, follow me on all those uh, socials, and I'll see you guys again next time. Hope you enjoyed this, this video, and yeah, take care.